Welcome to Wellness Wisdom Wednesday. I'm Tiffany Brown Bush and I am helping you through hump day. And it is my pleasure to be able to help super women live fit with happy hormones. So I want to jump right into today's topics, plural. Uh, most of which are coming from the Fit for Life Challenge, which is wrapping this week. If you don't know by now, the Fit for Life Challenge is a 21 day program. Uh, primary objective of the challenge is to get healthy and lose weight. Um, big focus on getting healthy. I, I want to see people um, experience changes like improved digestion, um, clearer skin, uh, you know, free of eczema and uh, irritation and acne, um, reduced cravings, increased energy, better sleep, um, PMS symptoms reduced, uh, em emotional um, kind of angst uh reduced. So those are the kinds of things I typically expect with the challenge in addition to weight loss. And um, average weight loss for the challenge is roughly 10 pounds. Uh, we see anywhere from 7 to 20 pounds um, with people. just depends. And so questions are coming up because people are wondering about, you know, how do you stay on track? Individuals who've graduated from the uh, multiple cycles of the challenge are inquiring about ways to maintain focus or what to do. Uh, and then the challenge does include a supplement kit. And uh, I've got some questions around that here recently. So I um, want to just kind of speak to all that. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I made a video and I indicated that I would talk about um, nutrition for like competition because I'm making a lot of recommendations, nutrition and, and activity, excuse me, around competition. And I'm making a lot of recommendations these days. Um, and the question was, do my recommendations apply to people who are competing or in some sort of performance activity? Now, when you start doing something that's um, performance related or you're going to get judged on your physique, the rules do change. So I just want to say that um, people who are competing in fitness shows, bodybuilding aren't necessarily your most healthy individuals that, you know, the body looks healthy, but um, it, it's oftentimes um, not the healthiest body. Uh, the higher leagues of professional um bodybuilding uh, and competing, you know, there are a lot of things that occur that aren't healthy. So I just want to make sure we're clear that um, just because someone's in a fitness show doesn't, and they look great, doesn't mean their body is in a healthy, balanced state. They're lean, but that doesn't, that doesn't mean they're healthy. So the things that are necessary to get ready for a show may not be in line with what I'm telling uh, the, a typical woman whose hormones need to remain balanced, who needs, needs to be able to have a menstrual cycle, who needs to, to get all of the nutrients one is supposed to have while trying to lose weight. So there are different recommendations for nutrition and different recommendations for exercise. And that's something that you would receive in a customized manner. Uh, same with someone trying to get ready for like a half marathon or a marathon. Um, oftentimes the things that you have to do for a long distance race aren't as conducive to weight loss um, <clears throat> and in the long run um, aren't the healthiest things for one to do to, to their body. So performance is different than being healthy and um, sometimes even looking lean, okay? So one size fits all is not uh, a reality. Um, those sports require something different. And then even within like, let's say the Fit for Life Challenge, because the question I've received recently is, um, you know, how do I, how do I recommend to people that, you know, the challenge is appropriate for everyone? And it's not. Um, there are clients who the challenge isn't appropriate for. Um, and in addition to that, uh, even the people who are in the challenge receive an, a modified version of it, a customized version of it, if you will. Um, for each person. Each person's receiving um, coaching and in their coaching um, they're receiving the modifications and I have different tracks within the um, challenge. There is a track for people who have um, yeast overgrowth, uh, candida, so um, digestive distress. You know there's a track for that. There's a track for clients that have thyroid issues. Um, so there's an adjustment that I make for them, um, adrenal fatigue, there's a different approach for those individuals. 
Um, <clears throat> there's uh, people who are exercising and men, I will tweak their programs a little bit. Um, so I just want to say that it starts out with a, a basic concept in mind, but like two people recently asked me about um, one, somebody doing the challenge who was breastfeeding, and then two, somebody doing the challenge who was who was a cancer survivor and on medication currently. Obviously, I would modify. So I just want to say that I, I'm not at all saying that one size fits all. So then the question has come up, um, let's see, about the supplementation. Um, so if I'm saying that it's a, a whole food protocol or eat real food, um, how can I use supplementation? And I think, to be quite honest, I think people are a little um, over all of the um, MLMs. I think it's. I think that's part of why people are so suspicious of programs that use supplementation. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I understand why. Um, this is not an MLM, and these products are lab quality products. You can only purchase. Um, and sell, excuse me, you can only sell um, uh, Thorn Designs for Health and Pure Encapsulations, which are the three brands that I currently use. Um, can only sell those to your clients if you're a licensed practitioner. Um, it's very hard to even pass the process to even acquire these products because they're considered. Um, like medicinal level supplementation. They're used for people who have health issues, um, who need high grade supplementation, high grade products. Okay, so that's one thing. So this is very different than being um, aligned with um, some other sort of program. Um, and the supplementation that's being used is vegan. These products are clean. They're, uh, you know, free of allergens and other other substances that would um, and, and ingredients that would irritate uh, the digestive system and cause health concerns so I, I want to say that first of all I'm a, I'm a therapist so part of what's gone into the fit for life challenge is the psychology of weight loss is the psychology of trying to change and I work with a lot of women and they don't like to eat protein. Um, people struggle with what they should be doing for breakfast and they eat crap. Um, you know, there's cereal, there's frozen foods, there's bagels, there's muffins. Breakfast, particularly in, in, in the area of the country that I'm in, I'm in North Carolina, is, is typically based around grits and sausage, pork, things like that. Breakfast is really hard for people. So because of that, especially at breakfast, I like to use the shakes because I am addressing the psychology of what's occurring. I want people to go with what makes sense for adherence, for habit change, behavior change. So that is the logic behind using uh, the protein powder, and I've gone with the cleanest one that I can. Um, and then we rotate the protein powder as well so that people don't start to develop an intolerance to one particular brand, which is why I carry multiple brands. So um, I understand what the concerns are and how it may seem to the outside perspective um, to be a contradictory kind of scenario. And that's my best explanation. Um, but I have received emails about that. And um, so I wanted to address it. Lastly, staying on track um in short why's are important why are you exercising at fit for life why are you in the fit for life challenge why are you in therapy why are you in coaching why 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 is it important because when somebody says oh girl you should eat that pizza or one piece of cake won't kill you or gluten can't be that bad or um, you got to live a little, um, your resolve will go right out the window unless you have good whys. And whys are pain related. Unfortunately, we're not as logical as we'd like to think. Oftentimes you make emotionally based decisions and then we try to go back and back them up with logic. Um, people just, you know, make moves based on emotion. That's just how we're wired. Um, so something excites you or stimulates you and then, then go back that, that, that decision up with logic. So when it comes to your whys, they need to be related to pain. 
they or extreme excitement. So either like there's money on the line or there's a trip on the line and it would hurt to not get it or you're very ex concerned about being sick and not being around for family members, something like that. There, there needs to be some sort of emotionally charged why to be in the challenge as well as to be successful beyond the challenge, okay? Sometimes people will just give us their money and say, I'm not that, I'm not that girl. Like giving somebody my money and wasting it hurts. Fine, fine. And no refunds, that's a pain. That's a pain experience for them. So that's great because that's a simple exchange. We can capitalize on that. Um, whatever you've got to do, but your whys have to be in place and they have to be emotionally charged or you will not be successful during the challenge and you darn sure won't be successful after the challenge with maintaining or continuing to lose. So I really want to put that out there because staying on track has come up and I suspect there aren't good whys in place or accountability to those whys in place, uh, you know, in addition to that. Okay, so I'm going to get wrapped up. I just want to say that we do have a Fit for Life app. Please go to the iTunes um, app store and download the Fit for Life app. It um, does include all websites for Fit for Life, whether it's live stream or my site, Fit for Life site, um, just everything. You can book everything. You can check your schedule. Um, you, you can always know what you have coming up with um, one of us at, at Fit for Life. So it's a great way to kind of have everything in one place. If you do not have an iPhone, I'm so sorry. So what I need you to then do is download the Mind Body app and then just uh, pick up Fit for Life within that app. And it won't have all of our personal stuff. It won't have our YouTube channel and all of our different websites. But at least you can keep up with your schedule, okay? If you're like on a droid or something like that. Okay, so please like this video, comment on it, share it. Um, we covered like three or four different topics today. So hopefully it was a little bit richer for you than maybe some previous ones. And until next time, lift it.